Colombia has become an emerging hotspot, not only for travelers, but also for expats who would like to experience a different culture, as well as retirees who want to have the most bang for their buck. The country is making its way onto the forefront of the adventure map for people who are financially and culturally conscious. While it may be rough around the edges, recent years have seen major cities such as Medellin, Cartagena, and Bogota emerge from the shadows and undergo metamorphosis. The country is a lot safer than it was decades ago. It is no longer associated with drugs and crime. Colombia is now synonymous with rich culture, incredible arts, and biodiversity that is unlike any other spot on the planet. If you have been thinking about Colombia and debating whether you should move there or not, we have come up with very compelling reasons that will convince you to pack your bags and look forward to mornings filled with the aroma of Colombian coffee. But first, a simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We are giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's all your choice, so be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter this giveaway. It's really that simple. The number one reason you should move to Colombia is that it's ridiculously cheap there, and you get more value for your money. Everything in Colombia is affordable, with an average exchange rate of 3,400 Colombian pesos, COP, to a dollar, and compared to a few years ago, your dollar is buying more than 25% more than it did than five years ago. Similar to other countries in South America and most countries in the world, the country's economy relies heavily on commodities, and one of their most prized commodities is petroleum. The Colombian peso has taken a huge hit in the last few years, and although this is a huge problem for the common man trying to make a day-to-day -day living and who now needs more pesos to buy the usual things he needs, it is excellent news for people who are earning euros or dollars. Because of the low cost of living, expats can rent fantastic and well-furnished accommodations with granite countertops and amenities such as gyms and pools for just $700 per month. And that price is already for two people. So, if you are seeking accommodation for a single person, the price will significantly drop. Medellin, the second largest city in the country after Bogota, is a great place for real estate ventures. You can find plenty of modest apartments in Medellin and spend less money in a month compared to when you live in the West. If you want to put your Spanish lessons to good use and even improve your skills in the language, Colombia is the place for you. Aside from significantly spending less and saving more compared to when you live in Western countries, Colombia also allows you to put your Spanish lessons to good use because only a handful of the population speaks English. You will be forced to hable espanol. Colombians are proud of their Spanish, and people who don't speak the language will be at a disadvantage because most daily activities and interactions with locals, such as waiters and drivers, are conducted in Spanish. Be warned, though, that Colombians talk fast with a lot of colloquialisms, so it is challenging to pick up their accent right away. You might have to ask locals to slow down and enunciate clearly, which is something that the majority won't do. You'll have to repeatedly tell them to slow down. If you're a digital nomad, you'll be glad to know that Medellin is a hub for digital nomads. If you have met a digital nomad or two, you must have probably heard about Medellin. There is a large community of migrant professionals in the region, and they have encouraged their friends to move there too. Most of the digital nomads occupy the El Poblado neighborhood. If you want to avoid the international bubble and want to interact and spend most of your time with locals, you should seek out other neighborhoods. Don't worry, as there are plenty of other places in Medellin where you can plant your roots. A good thing about living in Medellin is that it's located north of the country's coffee region. So if you are a coffee connoisseur, you've hit the jackpot. And you know what they say about Colombia's coffee, they are not the best in the world without a reason. Colombia has a climate that is pleasant the whole year. Colombia has excellent weather thanks to its location. It is surrounded by three mountains and it is divided into five natural regions, namely Caribbean, Andes, Pacific, Lanos, and the Amazon. The temperature of an area is highly dependent on its altitude. Four climates vary according to altitude, snow, cold, warm, and temperate. Cartagena has a tropical feel, so it's a summer region. Medellin has an average temperature of 22 degrees Celsius, which is why it's called the city of eternal spring. Bogota feels like it's in a state of perpetual autumn. Suffice it to say that the climate in Colombia is not something to complain about. The country also boasts of an excellent healthcare system. Colombia has healthcare that is internationally recognized, and it ranks number 22 in the world, ahead of Canada at number 30, as well 
well as the US and Germany that are both tied for the 37th spot. If you happen to be thinking of Medellin as the place where you should relocate to, you'll be happy to know that it has almost half of the country's best hospitals. It is a fact of life that as people grow older, they require more and better health care. If you wish to retire in a beautiful tropical country where you will be building your dream home and spending the rest of your life, it better be somewhere with the best hospitals. You certainly don't want to be airlifted to another island for urgent medical care. Cartagena also has world-class facilities, doctors, and clinics of every discipline that have been trained in Europe and North America and some of the best hospitals. This is one of the most compelling draws for people who want to move somewhere affordable with excellent health care. If you're into history or wildlife, you'll be glad to know that Colombia has ruins that are older than Machu Picchu and an excellent biodiversity. If laid-back beaches, archaeological ruins, snow-capped mountains, bountiful flora and fauna, wild jungles, amazing coral reefs, and lush coffee plantations appeal to you, Colombia is where you should be going. The country has all of these things and so much more. The country has so much to offer that you don't have to go outside to experience different climates. You will be spoiled for choice in this country. Tayrona National Park, located on the country's northern tip, is one of South America's most beautiful parks. The Caribbean coast has secluded beach spots and plenty of coconut palms. Santa Catalina and Providencia is home to the third largest coral reef systems on Earth. So if scuba diving is your thing, this is the place to be. And who could forget the Amazon? Its dense jungle region is home to flora and fauna unique to the area. For history buffs, there's Ciudad Perdida, which can only be reached after climbing 1,200 steps deep in the Colombian jungle. It is considered the lost city of Tayuna and is full of relics that are thought to be more than 500 years older than that of the more famous Machu Picchu. Colombia has become Latin America's food foodie hotspot. Although nothing much could be said about Colombian cuisine a few decades ago, Colombia has now become Latin America's foodie hotspot. The capital of Bogota has a burgeoning food scene that is fast catching up with its more culinary renowned neighbors such as Peru. There are annual food festivals that will tickle anyone's taste buds that also happens to be some of the largest in South America. New restaurants are popping up everywhere and locals as well as the expat community have more dining experiences to try and rave about. Some of the country's best chefs are also leading the rise of Colombian cuisine to stardom. There are fresh produce markets everywhere in the country, and there is no shortage of tropical goodies to sample. Some of the things that everyone needs to try are caramanola, beef pastries, and salted green mangoes. Of course, there's always coffee. Colombian coffee is renowned all over the world. Although it is weaker than other coffees such as Arabica, it is generally accepted as being of a much higher quality. It also has a gentle coffee flavor that is better than other varieties. The country also has a long history and an authentic culture. Similar to other Latin American countries, Colombia has a hodgepodge of ethnic flavors that date as far back as the 16th century during the Spanish conquest. Colombia has a cultural vibe that is unlike any other. The country has some of the best theaters as well as music and arts festivals that will please enthusiasts to no end. Cartagena, for example, is a UNESCO list destination, and it is where the past and the present coexist beautifully. It has lively salsa scenes, impressive colonial buildings, and a burst of colors. Love dancing? Make sure you bring your dancing shoes because you will have endless salsa lessons. Dancing is an integral part of life in Colombia, so there are a plethora of dance clubs, and it is not uncommon for music to blare in the streets. The country's most popular dance is called Cumbaya. It originated as a courtship dance among the slaves of West Africa, who were brought to Colombia's Caribbean region in the early 19th century. By the mid-20th century, Colombian artists had refined the cambaya and spread it to Brazil, Peru, Argentina, and beyond. These days, cambaya is often blended with hip-hop, dancehall reggae, and even electronic music for a more modern sound. You can never go to Colombia without dancing the cumbaya. Although we'd like to include more reasons to move to Colombia, we can't include every little thing as we'd be going on forever. So that's the end of the video. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.